Hi, today we got an UART example project in which we will communicate with a Raspberry Pi Zero and it's running a bare metal program uh, and it uses a UART communication to listen for commands and send text data with uh, readings of a motion sensor which is located right there. Okay, so now let's begin with the app. Let's connect the power to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we got a welcome message right there. So now let's send a uh, command to listen for some uh, main loop data. So I'm sending one. And it's responding and sending the data. Now let's uh, stop it. Sending zero. Okay, so it stopped. And now let's... Uh, send a command to receive data about the motion sensor. So if it uh, detects uh, a motion, it will send uh, that the GPIO4 is high. And uh, when the Arduino Duo receives it, it will blink the LED on board uh, quite fast. So let's go. Okay, so we send it. And now let's uh, do a motion. Okay. So it's receiving it and the uh, LED is blinking pretty high, high right. Okay, so now it's blinking normal, normal and it doesn't uh, uh, receive any data about uh, movement. Okay, so let's do another movement. So at, as we see, it works pretty fine. So now let's uh, take a look at the project that we got. Okay, so we are in our uh, main uh, file. Let's take a look first at the ASF, which, which I got added. So uh, I added the delay routines and also the UART uh, drivers and services and also the interrupt uh, management and the USB device as a CDC to communicate uh, through the USB to the computer with a terminal. So after we got it uh, added, uh, we got uh, the basic functions to make the system clock in it. Uh, right here, it's a function which I added that uh, enables the clocks for the GPIO right here from A to D and uh, sets the LED pin on board as a output. After this, I enabled the USB device and uh, I would like to read the incoming data from the computer in uh, a non-blocking mode, so in interrupts. And to do this, uh, you just go to the conf USB file and right here you get a section it was uh, commented like so. And right here you just uncomment it. And in the U UD CDC RX notify, you can put right here your own function. I name it like so. And it's a extern. And this function I got declared right here. So what this function does is it just uh, reads uh, the incoming uh, charter from the terminal which you just sent and this charter is sent through the UART. So this function puts uh, a single uh, charter through the UART like so and it's a non-blocking mode. Okay so next on the configuration of the UART so I made a function like this and it's right here. So to, in order to configure the UART, you need to declare a structure like this for configuration. And first of all, make the GPIO configured in an order like this. And also configure the clock for the UART right there. Okay, after this, we can uh, set some uh, val valuables, um, values to the 
structure for the UART, so the baud rate you want to use, the clock the board uses, so in this case it's the regular 84 megahertz, and the UART mode, which is zero, and it means it's normal, so no testing mode uh, whatsoever. After this, uh, you make the UART init uh, function with the structure you just uh, configured, and next on you enable the transmit, receive. Uh, this function actually does uh, those two functions, yeah, just to make sure it's all enabled. Okay, after this, uh, we want to um, receive uh, the data incoming from the Raspberry Pi as fast as we want, as we can. Uh, and in order to do this, uh, I made a function to make the interrupts enabled, which is this, and it's right here. So, uh, first of all, I enable the interrupt uh, for the receive, which is so, and uh, I enable the NVIC uh, priority and the uh, interrupt itself. So after this, uh, you have to mm, add your own function to handle the incoming data. So it's this function. Uh, how to know the name of the function? You just go to the exceptions.c and you got it uh, declared right there. So this function handles the UART. You just have to add it uh, somewhere in your project. So in this function, I check if uh, we got some data incoming. If we do, we read it to a variable. And if we got the terminal connected, we can send it uh, through the terminal. And also, uh, I left shift a buffer. So I put new data into the UART buffer in order to check if uh, we got some specific words uh, in the buffer. For example, uh, if the Raspberry Pi uh, senses the motion sensor, uh, that it uh, got some movement, it sends uh, a string, which is like this, so GPIO for high. And we compare uh, this uh, UART buffer, which has the exact uh, length uh, which uh, the words have. If it's uh, the same, I set up a flag to make uh, blinking at a higher rate. And in the main function, the main loop right here, uh, I check if the flag is uh, set. If it's set, then you do the blinking and set the flag to uh, low. Okay, so now let's go to the terminal. Okay. And now let's uh, reset the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I'm plugging the power in. Okay, receiving a welcome message. So now let's uh, send a command to get the motion sens sensor working. Okay, I'm holding the hand still. Oh, I detected my movement. Yeah, so it's working correctly. So thanks for watching, hope you find it useful, see you, see you in the next one.